you are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. Hey, what's going on? This is Dr. Roddy Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. And welcome to another edition of Coffee with Roddy. Listen, I'm going to give you something today that's going to be important. I need you to do it. I need you to take the time and do it. It doesn't matter if you're in your car, if you're watching on a computer, watching on your phone, or if you're streaming me on your, your TV, the big 50 inch that you got in your house. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to ask yourself this question. What's your superpower? I mean, really, what, what is your superpower? Because I cannot be you. You are the best you ever. There's nobody who can be you the way you are. If you're a man, Denzel Washington can't be you better than you can be you, even if he's on the, on the big screen. If you're a woman, there's nobody who can be who you are. There's, Julia Roberts can't play you better than you. You are the best you possible. So what do you do better than anybody else? There has to be something that you do better than anybody else. The first thing that you do better than anybody else is just be you. So within that you, what do you do better than anybody else? See, a lot of people walk around thinking that they're average, that they're normal, that they're not extraordinary. And the honest to goodness truth is you are. It's just that people have never told you that. People are so busy trying to beat you down that they're not speaking greatness into you. You're already great. You're already greater than that. And then you're already greater than you think you are. And then you're greater than that. But you have to sit down and take the time and ask yourself and write it down. What's your superpower? I asked this question to somebody in my dojo. It was a mother. She said, my superpower is I'm a mom of four. I said, you damn right, little mama, because I cannot be a mom of four, nor will I try. I couldn't push four of them people out, and I definitely couldn't run around after four of them. That's a superpower. Within that superpower, there's things that you can do. You can leap a tall building in a single bound. There are things that you can do. I know what my superpower is. I know exactly what my superpower is. I have a lot of superpowers. One of them is I can sit down in in a matter of eight hours, I can start at eight o'clock at night and I can finish by the time the sun comes up and I can finish a full length book with edits. I can do it, I've done it before. I can also create products. When it comes to product creation, that's my superpower. I can sit down and 72 hours, soup the nuts, come up with a product, cover, casing, everything, out the door, pricing, scripts, email, done. 72 hours, I've done it several times. And I was forced to do it. I was challenged to do it. Somebody forced me to think about that which I do best. I sat down and I paid for coaching and they, and they asked me a tough question. They said, what are, you, what are you good at? And I listed all these things that I'm good at. I'm good at this, I'm good at that, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, I'm good at this. And after I listed all those things, they said, well, what are you great at? And I always beat myself down because, you know, I went to the Olympic Games, but I didn't win a gold medal. So I always think, well, I'm not as good as the person who won a gold medal. Or, you know, I, I, I won a national championship in college, but I went to a historically black college and we won a national championship for black colleges, not the national championship for the, you know, the what we call the PWIs, um, the predominantly white institutions. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah I, was, I, was good, I was great in the state, but I, I, that wasn't, a, I wasn't a national champion. Oh, I, I won four national championships in judo, but there's people who have won 10 and 11. Oh, yo, you, you went to the Pan Am championships. Girl, you went, oh, I got a bronze medal in the Pan Am, but somebody got a gold. Um, there, there's always this conversation that we have in our minds where we, we reduce how good we are because we hear people talk about how good we aren't. Like we say, yeah, I, do, I did so-and-so. They say, yeah, but somebody did so-and-so plus. You say, man, yeah, but I did this yes, but somebody did this and this. So nobody even, and it's so cliche when people say, oh, you're not trying to allow me to be great. But that's the truth. People are so busy beating other people down that they're not empowering other people. 
and you have to empower yourself. And it has to be an ego-driven practice. And don't think of ego being a negative thing. You need, there's portions of yourself on the psychological side, you have to build up your ego so that you can walk around feeling confident about yourself. Remember the word confident, I mean, C-O-N from the Latin root of with means with, and, and, and F-I-D means faith. So you need to walk around with faith in yourself. And you can't do that if you don't speak positively about yourself. So take the time and sit down and write out all the things that you do good. And then after you do that, look at that list of things and pick the one thing that you do great. Because you do that better than anybody else. And once you figure out that thing, then you run around with that thing in your bosom. Run around with that thing on the, on the tip of your tongue and speak to and through that particular thing. And utilize that as your platform to become your best self possible. Listen, you have something on the inside that people want to hear about. You have something that you can teach. Trust me when I tell you, there's a, a, a one-year-old or a two-year-old that doesn't know how to tie their shoe, that's waiting for a shoe tying expert to come along and teach them a skill that they carry for the rest of their lives. And no, you don't have to have a certification or a degree to learn how to tie a shoe. But if you know how to tie a shoe, you can teach somebody that doesn't. And whatever you do great, you do that better than anybody else. And even if there are two or three people that can do it better than you, there are millions and thousands of people who need to learn from you. And only you can teach them. Sit down make the list about what you do good. Pick what you do great and allow that to be your platform to walk in greatness. This is Dr. Roddy Ferguson. Have a super fantastic day. And remember, I love you, but God loves you best.